So inevitably, every single time I'm streaming, maybe I'll take armor and put it on my mercenary, but I'll do it in a way that people never knew that you could. And the way I do it is actually way easier. Or perhaps I'll move something from here to there and people are like, wait a second, how did that gear just move there? I didn't even know you could do that. So that's what I'm going over today. Nine different UI interactions or different type of gameplay actions that you probably don't know about unless you're an incredibly dedicated, like, everyday Diablo 2 Resurrected type of player. And even if you are, there's probably at least one of these that you didn't know about. First up, there's actually like three different ways you can actually put different gear over to your mercenary. Now, most people know, open your inventory and the mercenary, go ahead and click and drag it over like that. But you can also go ahead and hold control and go ahead and left click and it'll fast send directly to your mercenary as well. But more than likely, what I'm usually doing is I'm grabbing something from my stash and putting it onto my mercenary. And you got to do a bunch of different button clicks to go ahead and open the mercenary and stuff like that. Well, let's say this armor right here, you want to go ahead and put on your mercenary, just pick it up and you can actually just bring it right up to your mercenary. See how he highlights. You can barely see it behind the armor. Just go ahead and click and it automatically swaps the armor on or off whatever you want to do. I do this a lot so I don't have to go ahead and open my inventory or my stash. We can just throw it in here and then we can take it over to the stash. Boom, easy piece. So you can actually just Go ahead and click directly on the mercenary. And if the mercenary doesn't have any armor on, there's nothing to swap off. Now, just for a, for instance, right here, no armor on, open your inventory, or you could just be picking something up off the ground, grabbing a white armor or, you know, whatever, grabbing it straight from your inventory over here. Grab it, click, put that you got it on your mercenary, boom, you're done. So this one I do all the time, and every time I respec, Someone asked me, wait a second, how did you just do that? You didn't even use a token or anything. You just automatically reset and you can what, do it as many times as you want. Yes, you can. And I'm going to show you super quickly how to do it. Now, if you want to respec, I need to start you in the Battle.net launcher because there's one thing you got to do super quick. Now, you usually start off on this page right here. Go ahead and go over to Diablo 2 Resurrected and bring it up so you're on this page where you actually have these options. Now, right here, click on these options and go to Game Settings. Now, once you're in that point, come down to these game settings here right here and check additional command line arguments. And then go ahead and type this in right here. Now this is dash, enable, respec. No spaces, no caps. That is incredibly important. Now, once you have that in there, go ahead and click done and fire your game up. Now, once you're in game, all you have to do is open up your character page, hold down the Alt key and click, click any one of these point things right here. We'll just click the energy one. It doesn't matter which one of these four you click. Boom, and you see it says I have new skills here. All my stat points are reset. And you can go ahead and do this, you know, as many times as you want to. Yep, sure, dump them all in there. Well, I did something wrong, I clicked the wrong button. Hold down Alt, boom, done it again. Now, important to note, super important, you can only do this on single player. You can't infinitely respec online. And as far as I'm aware, this only works on PC. Now, this could be one of the most important things when it comes to playing a Hammerdon that they did change in Diablo 2 Resurrected. It made it way easier. Now, you want to have your concentration or up to increase your damage, but then you also want to be able to hit hammers. You used to have to have your hammers on your left click. You have to hold down shift and cast your hammers or make sure you clicked on a monster or you would accidentally run and just kind of mess yourself up. Now, what you can do now is you see right here, I actually have F1 hotkeyed on the left mouse button leaving the concentration or up and that way you don't have to worry about accidentally running so here we are just casting hammers and you don't have to worry about accidentally running wherever the mouse is you can just hot key the left click button and boom you leave your concentration or up then you go ahead and switch to your redemption aura switch back to your concentration aura and move on making it way easier for the hammerton i'm sure there's tons of other uses for this but this is the most prolific so go ahead and you know, feel it out and see if there's other places where maybe you have different charges you can go ahead and put in your left click or just different skills you want to use once in a while. You can go ahead and hotkey those on your left click and, you know, leave an aura up or something along those lines like we do with the Paladin. Now, here's another OG trick that I've been doing since the beginning of time. So it's nothing new, but a lot of people just don't realize it or really realize maybe the slight benefit you can get from it. So in my inventory, you see I have no Tomb of Town portal. But if you look right in here next to my arm, you see, I have some in my belt. Yeah, you can teleport around and you can just be attacking and oh boy, I gotta get to town and quick. You can go here, boom, hit the number four, get your portal up and hop through it. Yeah, so you can go ahead and put town portals in your belt. That will free up a couple of spots down here of your inventory to go ahead and keep things like a couple of extra 7% magic and small charms or just the way things fit in here. 
I would actually have to take out a skiller to have another two piece tall in order to have a torch. So I can actually keep another skiller and 14% more magic find in my inventory by keeping these town portals in my belt. So another new thing that was added, uh, you can go ahead and actually hotkey, you see right here, you can actually hotkey your scrolls of town portal. That's a very good one. If you do have your book, actually, your tomb of town portal in your inventory, you're teleporting around. Oh, I want to get out of here real quick. And also do note those town portals are actually in my belt. So I'm hot keying the town portals no matter where they are. You go ahead and use one super quick at the tip of your fingers as fast as you want to get out of there. You can go ahead and do that. And next up is another type of uh, scroll that you can actually hot key. And I honestly didn't exactly even realize any use for this or almost didn't realize it was there until making this video. But let's go ahead and take out a couple of packs here because I just need some items to drop to go ahead and show you. Here you go. So we see this breastplate drop. Now what we can do is go ahead and pick it up. I can instantly hit my hotkey that goes to my tomb of identify, identify it, throw it out. I can keep doing that super, super quick way. Boom. Of checking things to identify them. Mega fast. It's a little bit of a time save. Maybe it's something you can go ahead and use. Uh, I'm kind of waffling back and forth whether I'd want to. Like I said, I just kind of never realized the use for it until just now but you can actually hotkey your scrolls of identify so here's a reasonably good spot to show you another one you can actually hotkey directly to your cube this is one that was added a little bit newer let's say you want to go and check these boots but your entire inventory down here is full you don't want to have to drag and drop over what you can actually do go ahead and boop, open the cube drop it in there and that's that quick, that easy. You can go ahead and stick anything you want in your cube off of the ground. Even if you want to grab this mana potion, boom, you drop it in there. Go ahead and grab this super healing potion, boom, drop it in there. Oil potion, you get the idea, boom, it's in there. So you can go ahead and hotkey even your cube, go into the options, go up to controls. Mine is right here. It's the letter C, hotkeys to the cube for me. That is on PC. I'm sure there's another way to set that on console. On console, you can even set a hotkey to just go ahead and grab something, boom, and it'll just go actually directly into your cube. Unfortunately, we don't have that benefit on PC, but we do have, like I said, the hotkey directly into your cube to drag and drop thing. Next up was added to Diablo 2 Resurrected, so if you're an older person returning, you're definitely going to know about this. You can actually quick send items so you don't have to drag and drop everything, saving your wrist and just saving, you know, use on the computer. Cause man, if you're on your computer all the time, which if you're playing Diablo 2 Resurrected, you probably are, this is gonna help you out a bunch. So the first, for instance, cause there's a lot of different uses and different places I can showcase this, but we're gonna go ahead and open the cube. And let's say you don't wanna have to drag, drag. You can go ahead and just fast send things. So hold down the control key and just click, click, click. And it goes over. You wanna send it back, hold down control, click, click, Click. And yeah, this also works for your stash. The stash is open, quick send it there, quick send it back, quick send it, quick send it, quick send it, quick send it. It is that easy, you just hold down control and left click. But there's even other ways to quick send items. Now, if you didn't know, you can hold down shift and you hover over an item and it goes ahead and compares it to an item that is also in the exact same slot. Let's go ahead and look at these gloves. Hovering over it, holding down the shift key on the keyboard and boom, it compares it to the chance guards. Now, which one do I wanna wear? Maybe the one in my inventory I wanna go ahead and equip. You might think you gotta drag it, drop it over, bring the other one back. Well, no, if you're holding down shift, just left click, boom, it instantly swaps, boom, boom, boom. And on top of that, you could probably guess me putting that over in my cube, it works from anywhere. So if it's in your cube, go ahead and hold shift, boom, and you go ahead and automatically swap. Now, this can be important to be combined with the quick open cube hotkey. I've seen people do this in PVP, or let's just say you wanna swap between throwing on a lower res wand or an amp wand or even a life tap wand and you wanna throw it on real quick, cast and get it off real quick. Now what you can do, you'll be running around, oh no, I'm taking damage. I gotta do this or do that. You just quick open the, the cube, hold down shift and send it and hit the escape key and that closes up. So for instance, let's go a little quicker, running around, we're dodging, we're dipping, we're ducking, we're diving. C, shift, out, and that's how fast you can go ahead and equip this stuff and boom. You're swapping out your gear to the one you want to use for a quick second and swapping a different one back on or whatever use case instance you have. And this kind of ties into actually the first one, kind of quick sending stuff and also putting things in the mercenary. Go ahead and open up the mercenary. You can hold down control and left click and it quick sends over to the mercenary. So you can even swap gear on the mercenary that fast as well. A little bit more of a niche case for that particular one, but you can do that. And now for one, I forget all of the time 
I don't really post things a lot in this manner, but you can actually take an item and post it into the chat so you can show your friends what you had just found. Or, hey, do you want to trade for this? Do you want to trade for that? You can show it real quick. Now, what you got to do is get to wherever the item is. Let's just say it's in the stash for this particular instance. Then you go ahead and hit enter to open the chat. This is on PC anyways. And scroll over whatever item it is that you want. Let's say it's this lid list right here. We're going to go ahead and hold shift. And then we'll go ahead and left click. And you see it just put it down in the chat. And then you go ahead and go, OMG, look at this. And send it. Now it's sent in the chat. You can see it right here. And your buddy's on the other side, or you can look at it now. Just go ahead and click right on that, and it brings it right up. Or once the chat eventually goes away, hit enter, bring it up, and you can click on it, and you can see what item the person posted in chat that they want to trade with you or that they want to brag about. I literally forget this one all the time, so take note of that one if you play online at all. So I know at least one of those had to be new to you. If there's any ones that you know about that maybe I didn't mention in this video, feel free to hit them in the comments or let me know any of your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe up before you go. Peace out, fellas, and keep slaying.